Yeah, this is like the worst set of facts ever. I would never work with or in, in tangent with a person like this ever in my entire life. Persephone, if someone sexually assaulted you, would you go back and continue cuddling with them? Well, f uh, hold on. Well, she felt pressure. She was intoxicated, so. Okay. Um, and and whose fault is that? Really uh, I can't really blame her for wanting to network. Dude. You're 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 giving the so so, so everything. Katie you're not supposed to say this part out loud. Not her fault. Not her responsibility. Yeah. She didn't know what she was doing. You can't blame her. Everything George does is he knew what he was doing. It's all his fault. You see how this doesn't make sense? I can't blame her. What can you blame her for? If she kills someone with her car tomorrow, would you be like, well, I can't blame her. She was trying to get to work so she could uh, so she could do her Minecraft stream. I, like what? I I mean people have personal I responsibility. Don't really She's think I all. can. I don't really think I can blame a. Freshly 18 year old. Oh, freshly uh, 18. She was 18 and six. Wait, 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 hold on. Also, she was a legal adult. Wait, are you really the one who came up with the freshly 18? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's a good phrase. It worked. It worked. Yeah. Wait, Honestly, real hi. quick. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Alex. Uh, you know, I recently had a talk uh, with my friend, Willie Red, about he had some you know he had a similar take to you on the situation and generally you know about consent you know he argued that uh a 13 year old could defend themselves against obviously 250 pound men and obviously wait that a 13 year old case. wait what a, a 13 year old uh could defend themselves uh, and i it, my point being is i think katie was in a situation that oh wait, hold on, wait, wait. I can't tell if I'm from. mishearing you. Wait, are you saying a 13 year old? Uh, that was a different conversation, but that was with you know a sort of friend. Oh, I'm just bringing it up. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, gotcha. Experience okay. with these conversations. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so, uh, generally, I she was not really in a situation where I, in my opinion, we could have escaped, and I wait, 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 wasn't really coach. Who wasn't in a situation where they could escape? Wait, uh, what? Katie. Katie, you know. Well, yeah, she could have just walked away, right? What do you mean she couldn't escape? No, I don't think she could have. I mean, I just Was she physically been disabled? She, no, he was a bit intoxicated, so too, I don't Wait, wait, too away. intoxicated to walk? Uh, I, it's, it's hard to think coherently when you're drunk. She was intoxicated, so. It's, she was plenty sober enough to chat and talk and play games and I don't think there was any indic I don't uh, hear anything about her throwing up or anything like that I seemed like she and I'm pretty sure uh, in the story she says multiple times that she got up to say goodbye to people that were leaving and then walked back over to the couch she that is true but there's sort of like this social pressure I mean he was a big youtuber I remember you saying that you know oh why did she bring up this story why did she go public you know it's not like he's the uh uh, Harvey Weinstein. When you know he's. Well, a wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait. She, yeah, wait. One thing. Wait, wait, real quick. Just one thing at a time. She absolutely could have gotten up and mm -hmm. left. Now, if you're saying there was pressure or something uh, else, that maybe that's a different thing. But uh, unless you want, unless you want to tell me, and I don't know how close you are, unless you want to say that she's handicapped, disabled, or retarded, then we can have a different conversation about uh, that. But her legs worked. I, she wasn't that drunk. She w had already walked multiple times in the story. She absolutely had the physical capability, at least, of getting up and walking away. Right. That's. I. I, I guess to I guess agree to disagree. Um, wait, wait. So is she retarded? Is she disabled? Or was she more drunk than I, anybody in the story let on? Which one of those three I, things was it? You have to pick one. I I think she was drunk. She, she, okay, so she was more drunk than anybody in the story, including her, said anything about. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, uh, that, interesting, I guess. All right. So we have a new piece of information that nobody has presented thus far, but okay. Well, I, I mean, I was, maybe. Uh, uh, I mean, drunk in this, I, I guess it's subjective, but you know, I, yeah, this is a bit more, more of my personal opinion, but uh, George was clearly, uh, you know, was a bit sober in my opinion, so. Wait, how do you know that? Wait, 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 how do you know that? I got instinct. Wait, so you have no idea what you're talking mm. about. You, you just assume that he wasn't drunk and he was super sober. You assume that she was too drunk to even walk, despite the fact that that's contradicted that by the fact that multiple times in her own telling of, of the story, she's gotten up and walked and said bye to people and gone back to the couch. So, I suppose so. You could say that. Okay. And you, you weren't here. You weren't at this event, right? 
No, I, I heard it from her secondhand, so. Okay, all right. Uh, I also want to say that, you know, she wasn't coached in any manner. I think that was she kind was. of... She was. She talked to friends before she put that statement together. I would bet my life on it without knowing. You're going to ask her, bring her on or whatever. I mean, I'll donate money to she, rape victims or some shit if you want. But I know 100% that she talked to friends of before she... Of course she talked, but, you know, those words were her own. Uh, no one said, they, you know... Mm, well, they might have been her own, but she definitely shopped that document around to a few people before she read it on on YouTube. One I million mean, percent. I looked through it. There, okay, okay, thank you. So you've, it, yes, you... Know. Yes, you've proved I, my point. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> No, no, I, no, I have not. I, you know, I came up with the freshly eighteen phrase. So, which, to be honest, she was very young. I mean, a twenty-six-year-old and an eighteen-year-old. I just, that's just not very appropriate. I mean, he actively knew her age. Regardless if he did or didn't, she's eighteen. She's an adult. Uh, I mean, you know, just because something's legal doesn't mean you know it's entirely moral. I mean, he, in my opinion. What he may have done is legal, and it wasn't moral. What part of his you age know, factors I mean, into the situation? If he was 20, would you have a substantially different view of this? Uh, I think he'd be... Yeah, I would. So, just, so even if none of the actions change, the age alone changes it substantially I for you? I think he has six more years of experience in life. Uh, so. Do you think yes. that if, there's a, if he was 20, do you think there's a higher or lower chance that he would have tried to have sex with her? Uh, probably about the same, but I think that because he's older, he should be more wise. Do you think that if he was younger, there because because he would have been less wise, you think he might have actually fucked her or tried to? Uh, I think if he were younger, he'd be more likely to. Like, if you get a twenty-year-old, they're more likely to make these, uh, let's just say, more predator, you know, uh, immoral decisions, you know, than you know, an older person who's... Okay, so the sex. fact that he was older probably played in favor of the story here because if he was younger, there would have been a higher chance that actual sexual activity would have happened. So the idea that he's younger or older, I don't know how that cuts against him in this story. I don't know how that help, helps you in this story. I would say it cuts around. against him because I would say he should know better. He did. That's why they didn't fuck. No, he touched. He sexually assaulted her. I, mean, I don't. Absolutely not sexually assaulted. He touched, sure, but... He touched her stomach. That is very significant. He that tickled is. her. A clear violation of her consent. She gave no indication of such. It seemed like this event was going on for over the course of an hour. They were cuddling prior to this, I think. Let's say I were to randomly tickle you right now. Mm -hmm. I would say that is in a way sexually assaulting. So one, if you randomly tickle me right now, maybe assault. That's really dramatic. Sexual assault? Absolutely not. But if we were cuddling for an hour first and then you did it, definitely not. Mm. Well, uh, I wouldn't really, I mean, we, ev I, everyone was cuddling, so, you know. Then if anybody it, in the group would have tickled anyone else while they were all cuddling, I would say the same, not sexual assault. I would say it was, you know, I mean, you're violating someone's boundary. I mean, it's sexual how, assault. Wait, how are you violating the boundary right when there's no indication given of that? If you're cuddling together, you're already within each other's bubbles of personal space. Why would you assume that cuddling is okay, but tickling isn't, especially if the person doesn't give any indication of such? I think tickling is kind of like the next level, you know, consent is in stages, right, of course? Yeah, so like cuddling and then maybe touching and then maybe tickling, those are the stages that they were moving through. And then after the tickling, yeah, I guess it didn't I, go any further than that, which is fine. Maybe, well, yeah, I guess agree to disagree here. Okay, you're just wrong. There is no agree to disagree. You're creating a culture where young women are gonna be disempowered, have no agency, and are more likely to get raped because you have no idea uh -huh. of like what is capable on the woman's side. She had the ability to walk away the entire time. She was drinking underage, which was also really dumb. Um, she went up to a guy's uh -huh. room, which was also kind of dumb. But regardless of all of these things that happen, uh, nothing bad actually happened. She didn't get raped. She didn't get fingered she, or nothing crazy happened like that. It was fine. She was, walked away at the end of the night. Everything was okay. She was sexually assaulted. So She was not I mean, sexually assaulted. Tickling someone is sexual assault. Uh, I'm sure there's been cases of real life criminal law where people have been tickled against their consent. I would um, love to see any case law. I want to know what the jurisprudence right, uh, is on prosecuting people for sexual assault when they tickle somebody. I would love to see that. If you find any, right, to shoot it to me, me at some point. Well, not, you're not gonna find it if you search for now, but. Uh, probably not, yeah, good point. Uh, I, I also think that 
uh, in general, her public statement. I think it's important to mention that he's 10 million uh, sub YouTuber, which I think could destroy her career. If you wanted to, which what? Okay. Wait, but he didn't say anything at all. Isn't she trying to destroy his career? Well, well, if she were to try and sort it out with in private, then she he could easily quash it. I mean, he's he, friends with. Did he give any indication ones. of that at all at any point in time ever? Uh maybe her I career. Mean, did you ever think that maybe her career deserves to be destroyed? Do you think? No, I don't think so. I don't think uh, victims like her should have her career destroyed. You don't think that if somebody lies and puts on... To be honest, if I ran any org, she would be permanently banned from any event that I would ever host. If she's putting on over 18 wristbands and getting alcohol, that is such a huge liability. I would absolutely ban this person from ever being involved in any of my events. Why would I want somebody? She might have a fake ID. She's lying and drinking in underage areas with other people. Like The liability there is extreme. So if for no other reason, I I would ban her from every single thing I host just for that reason in and of itself. But... I mean, plenty of people drink underage, including That's fine. My, I myself. That's fine yeah. if people do, but if you're going to put on a bis, uh, wristband that says you're 21 and you're going to lie about your age and go and get alcohol and then hang around other like, I, popular people, you're putting all of those people at risk when you do that. I mean, he knew she was 18. If you saw, doesn't it, matter if she. I didn't. I didn't. I'm not Instagram asking about if he knew or not. I'm just okay. saying from an organizer point of view, you would blacklist that person from everything <laughs> because why? Why would you want that liability? It's just dumb. Mm. But also, at what point was he like threatening her with his career? I mean, he could hypothetically if she came out in private. I mean, he could also he hunt her down with a pistol and shoot and kill her. I mean, what does that have to do with anything? He could. Why are you? I why are you shooting a potential? It happened in real life. If we look at real life situations, people like Harvey Weinstein. You know, people feel that they need to come out. So then, so should the rule then just be that popular people don't hang out with unpopular people ever? Uh I think. They need to be more aware of their boundaries. So, which obviously this guy wasn't, and he had, you know, six year, uh, sorry, eight more years of experience. With them. Yeah, they, and he, that's why they didn't do anything sexual. Uh, Seems like he was pretty aware of the boundaries. That's why he, they hung out for three or four he, hours afterwards chatting, and they didn't do anything sexual. He, uh, he tickled her. Yeah, that's sexual assault. So, okay. Uh, I generally, I just. She was also a fan of his. So? Did he abuse that that at any point? Was he begging her to come to his room? Was he pressuring her to do things with him because he was such a big YouTuber? Did that ever happen, ever? Uh, Sort of, I guess. I mean... When? I mean, she went to him because she was a, he was a big YouTuber and she was a fan, so... Wait, wasn't there... Didn't she go with friends? Weren't there multiple people in that hotel room? Well, of course, you know, I mean... You, to network, you know, in general, you, you gotta do it. Oh, okay, so the rule should be fans and YouTubers, and then YouTubers and... Oh, no. Wait, is, didn't you say she was a YouTuber? Well, she's a Twitch streamer. But Wait, so is she a fan or is she, like, a colleague? Is it a coworker or a fan? What's well, the standard that we even both, apply here? You know what I mean? I, I, I would say, you know, it's more of a... I would say it's both, you know? Okay, so then if, so for George, if you're a YouTuber, you never hook up with anybody younger, you never hook up with anybody who's a fan, and you never hook up with another I, content creator? Is that, I what are the rules? Someone who has 10 million subs in uh-huh. his position should be very careful around, you know, smaller, small streamers. You keep saying person. very careful. What did he do that was not careful? He sexually assaulted her. I mean, he tickled her after they cuddled for an hour. He tickled her, exactly. After they cuddled for an hour. While she was on her phone. You know, it's... They were, I, weren't they all on their phones, like playing games and looking at shit? I, and yeah, I guess. Have you ever given her a hug before? She, Have you seen her in real life? Uh, yes, uh, obviously, uh, you know, I, I want to be careful. Obviously, I ask, yeah. you know. You ask people before you, if you give somebody a hug without asking them, is that sexual assault? Uh, yeah, I, I I would say maybe it depends. You know, a hug is obviously a lot less contact, 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 sorry, I can't speak, than tickling. <sighs> okay. Uh, also, another comment I have to say, I will admit, I did laugh when you played the music. It was kind of funny, but it was kind of tasteless when you put that emo rock, but that's all I'm going to say. Okay. Wait, you're not the guy in that video, are you? Uh, no. Oh, 
Okay. He's at another end. So. Gotcha. How old are you? Are you 18, 19? Uh, 20. Okay. So. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Would a handshake count as sexual assault if you didn't ask somebody? You, like, tried to hold their hand? Uh, no, a handshake would not count, obviously. What? I mean... What if they pulled their hand away and you kept holding on to it? Would that count as sexual assault? Uh... Maybe. I'd, I'd have to think about that, personally. Do you think if you tickle a baby, is that, like, a sexual act? Could that be sexual assault or, like, pedophilia? Uh... No, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, obviously, if the baby's crying, you know, you probably shouldn't touch the baby, you know? True, actually. I just would lock him in the other room and wait until he shut the fuck up. Based. Uh. Okay, what, are there any other things you wanted to cover for this, or...? <laughs> I, I also want to say the drinking point, like a lot of people say it's irresponsible, so uh, generally I think it's pretty normal to lie about to get into those parties, so which I don't know, a lot of people shamed her judgment and generally I mean, wait, what do you mean? It's all it's also it normal in some environments to like assault or rape people. What is that? Is that an excuse? Is that like a moral uh, category, generally or? the network for the sake of her career, I think she was justified in lying. Wait, you think that for the sake of her career, she needed to drink to hang out with guys? Yeah, I mean, that's how you network or these after parties. You absolutely do not need to be at these after parties to network. You do not need to do that. There's plenty of other, she proved it by mm -hmm. going and hang out with people at a hotel room after. There's plenty of places. People go to restaurants, people hang out in hotels afterwards. There mm -hmm. are non-alcoholic areas. Some of these places you can go and they just give you a different wristband if you're underage. But you don't deny that there could be, but you don't deny that it would be useful to go to these. It could be. It could also be useful to hire seven prostitutes while I go into an area to look like I'm cooler than I actually am. What do you mean it could be useful? There's a lot of things. It could be useful to cut uh, somebody's throat and steal their money so you can afford a really expensive dinner to impress a bunch of I mean, you know people you in know, the industry. Like, What do you mean? Are, There's a lot of things that could be useful. That doesn't make it right or wrong. We don't judge things by the utility when we're talking a moral perspective. Like, What do you mean? Uh, I mean... I generally, I think she's justified because it advanced her career, and I think she was justified going to the hotel room. I mean, think of it, Dream and uh, George, or two, you know, two of the largest, well, the largest Minecraft YouTubers, I think. This, you're trolling. Um, you've got to be trolling. You're saying that it's justified yeah. for her to lie about her age, do something illegal, put everybody else at risk legally, and she has no liability for any of that because it advances her career. So she's allowed to use them like that unethically. But if they are cuddling for an I, hour and the guy touches a tummy, that's automatically sexual assault? That's insane. I mean, did the underage drinking hurt anyone? Well, yeah, you're telling me that she was so drunk she couldn't even walk. So it sounds like it, no? Uh, no, not really, I'd say. Oh, Which then if she wasn't drunk, drunk and it didn't hurt anybody, then we have to remove well, alcohol from the equation of why this was such a horrendous action. Well, it was hor horrendous because she was drunk, and obviously that was... So I, then the, the alcohol I did hurt the them. action, the action th of lying about her age is obviously, in my opinion, it's not relevant. You know what I mean? How did, didn't she I get the alcohol by lying about her age? Well, she... she sorry, I'm just kind of nervous in this speaking here. Um, I mean that uh, her underage drinking isn't really uh, a factor, I'd say. She may have been... Sorry, uh, can you restate your question? Sorry. Uh, I... I don't want to restate my question. I... Okay, hold on. I didn't take my medication today, okay? So I just want to be evil. But I'm trying not to be, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me take a drink. Hold on. Okay. okay. Let me back up. All right. I think that when... Okay, let me ask you one question. If it's too personal, you don't have to answer. Do you have any sexual experience? Uh, what with my? Okay, that's fine. You don't have to. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I think that when two people 
are exploring and flirting with and advancing through boundaries, sometimes there is verbal consent, sometimes there is nonverbal consent. I would say that with our current society and the way that people tend to flirt with each other, a lot of that consent tends to be nonverbal or physical. Um, such that like, uh, you, we can imagine that if a guy and a girl go out on a date, they have a really good time, they're holding hands, walking home, maybe before the guy drops the girl off, they might be looking at each other and they, the guy decides to lean in and then they have a kiss. If the guy doesn't explicitly say, can I kiss you? And the girl seems like, you know, whatever. Two, two things can happen here. Either one, he kisses her and she wanted to kiss him and it was good. And I would say that's, is that an okay thing? Is that okay? Uh, I would say so. Okay. Or two, he kisses her and she didn't really want to kiss, but then they kiss. And then afterwards she's like, okay, have fun. And then when they part, she's like, okay, well, I don't really think I wanted to kiss you. And I was like, oh, okay. And I think that's okay too. They were very lightly pushing on the boundaries. They were walking, they were laughing, they were hugging, holding hands. And then one person tried to escalate a little bit more. And then the other person didn't really like it that much. I'm like, oh, okay, then we didn't. I think that interaction is perfectly okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's okay or do you think that's sexual assault? The next question I'm gonna ask you so that it doesn't sound like I'm trying to trap you is because if that counts as assault or sexual assault, then it sounds like we're creating a world where every single next escalation of an activity requires a verbal consent which maybe in some worlds might be ideal, but I think for the vast majority of people hanging out, it doesn't usually happen that way. Which is okay, I, I think, as long it, as you don't push too far. Sorry, go ahead. I would say it isn't, but I think like it depends on the circumstance. And obviously, in a situation where there's a lot of alcohol and where everyone's inhibited, I would say that generally verbal consent is, in my opinion, very important. Possibly, that might be true. So, um, okay. so. I think that people physically exploring boundaries with each other, I think is pretty normal. I think this happens quite often. I think it's, I think it's okay, um, as long as people don't push too far. So for instance, if two people were on a couch and the guy were to immediately start pulling off the you know, skirt or pants of a girl and try to fuck her immediately, that's a really big escalation. Even if the girl was into it, that's still really risky and probably not advised. You probably should never do it, unless you have like a pre-existing relationship with this person. That's a really big jump from A to B, I think. If mm -hmm. two people are hanging out on a couch, my understanding is that they were both cuddling for about an hour and then laughing and playing games or whatever, that for the guy to kind of like touch her and explore that way, like in a non-sexual area, meaning not like grabbing a breast, not grabbing her pussy, but just like touching either arm, shoulder, maybe a belly, depending on if she's got midriff exposed, whatever the fuck, that that's like an okay escalation. And then if it moves on from there, good. If it doesn't, and the guy's like, oh, okay, well, it's not, then that's fine. That's, it's, that's totally okay. I don't think anything has been harmed here. There's no irreparable damage. Nobody is like orgasm. There's nobody's been put in like a crazy situation. I think that's an okay, like sequence of events. Mm-hmm. Think that's an, do you think that's like an okay sequence of events that the, we wouldn't expect the person to ask like, hey, is it okay if I touch your stomach every single time? That a little bit of physical exploration there can happen, especially if they've been like uh, cuddling for an I, hour. I would say it would be a good idea to make it verbal. You know, in, a, in, a, in an ideal situation, it would be verbal. Sure, I agree. I think in an ideal situation, everybody is verbalizing at every step. That would be ideal. But realistically, it doesn't usually happen that way, right? I think people tend to explore. Sometimes somebody goes a little bit too far. But going too far isn't always a horrible thing. You just go a little bit too far and it's like, oof, that's awkward. Like if you're talking to a friend and a friend says like, uh, I really like you, I wanna date you. And you're like, oof, that's too far, I, I don't feel that way. It's like, ooh, it's not reciprocated, it's not wanted and it doesn't feel great. But as long as it's like a little a little bit of a push from where they were before, is if the other person doesn't reciprocate and then the other person stops, I think it's okay, I think that's fine. So I think like in this story, if he would have like touched her stomach and she would have been um, completely non-reciprocal would have been like, get stop or whatever. And he would have like kept going or she would have like froze up or been like really uncomfortable. And he would have just kept pushing and pushing and pushing and like tried to grope her or finger her or whatever. Then I would say, okay, well, this is not good. We got a problem. He should have asked her, said something if he's not getting any type of response. But since it stopped about right there, I think it's okay. I think that's fine. Mm, I, I would say that, you know, it, clearly she 
was uncomfortable, you know. She kept continuing and she didn't say anything. Unfortunately, you know, we're far from the ideal world where, you know, where, you know, we can understand where, you know, we, you know, obviously what, 80% of communication is nonverbal, but we're far from that ideal world. So I think that verbalizing it would be much more important. Sure. But I think, so when we say um, clearly she wasn't reciprocating, just from what I heard, really on both ends of the story, and then even the more that's been leaked, is it seems like she was relatively reciprocal. The fact that they had been, so in my mind, just from my experience with women, um, personally for me, and I maybe this is different for different people, but personally for me, like touching somebody's t stomach or like tickling them, that would in my mind would actually be less um, less intimate than cuddling with somebody on a couch. In my mind, if I'm like laying on a couch with a girl and she's like full on like laying on me and we're cuddling like that, in my mind, that's farther than just like tickling somebody's stomach. Um, both of them can be like pretty intimate, but the cuddling is a pretty big thing, especially if we're doing it for an hour, especially if we're playing games together, especially if we're all kind of like laughing with each other. Like that to me seems like a pretty intimate thing. I don't think it's unbelievable that you would think that if you're at that level of physical contact, that tickling somebody is probably fine as well. Mm -hmm. I suppose this is more obviously, you know, we're friends. Uh, she's a very touchy person, so uh, so generally she's like this with a lot of people. So Wouldn't I that think, just be even a greater argument that he thought that it was fine then to tickle her if she's a really touchy person? Well, not necessarily, because I think tickling is the next step. Like she, if you know what I mean. But if we, if somebody is very touchy with people, and if we are cuddling together. And if we're like having fun and laughing and joking, why wouldn't I think that like, oh yeah, I could probably tickle this person, be fine. Mm, uh, I mean, I guess I guess we're different people. I don't know. I did. I personally think it'd be fine. But if I, I if I there guess. are two different, I, so I can imagine. Or I, I've known women that are a lot more. I don't know how to say this. Um, I know women that are very uh, stiff, cold. I don't know how you'd explain it, but like they're not very touchy people. Um, and if I'm at the point with a woman w w who's like that, and we're like hugging or cuddling, we're basically having sex. I know if I've gotten that far, it's like okay, like this is this person is normally not like this at all. It is a really big deal if I'm touching this person. I know that to be the case. I also know other women who are naturally very, very, very flirty people, very touchy feely, um, and I have no sexual relationship with them. But I know I could like tickle them, and I have. And I, I them. It's like it's just like a funny joke. It's a whatever thing. Um, but it's because they're like a very, very touchy person. It's not a big deal, right? But I would apply like a different set of standards to how I would treat different women based on how they interact with others. And the more outgoing or touchy or flirty that person is, the less of a big deal I would imagine it would be if you were to like tickle somebody or touch them in that way. That would be my assumption. I think I feel like that's mm -hmm. pretty normal, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty normal. I mean, speaking from personal experience, you know, I for example, you know, tried to hug her once, and it's obviously I didn't ask. You know, obviously, hugging is a bit less severe than tickling, but I sort of violated her boundaries, and I, I, I guess I... Well, but like, know, here, I so here's, and, this is what I think is, okay, this is how I envision it, okay? This is how I envision it, okay? I think when we say violate somebody's boundaries, okay, the way that I envision it is, is you have a, you have like two boundaries, I think. You've got the... If you violate this boundary, you've really fucked up. And then you've got a boundary past that, which is like, this is the socially acceptable exploratory boundary. Um, so here's an example of that. Let's say that I'm on the street and uh, somebody were to come up and give me a hug. I think that's pushing really far past like, wait, why the fuck are you hugging me? We don't know that. Why, why, I don't know you at all, what the fuck? But let's say somebody comes up to me and talks to me. Now, I might not wanna talk to anybody. So them coming up and talking to me is like, bro, I don't wanna talk to you, but I wouldn't consider that violating that second boundary. I would consider it like exploring the first one, right? Where it's like, well, if you're standing on the street and somebody comes up and talks to you, I wouldn't consider that like an egregious boundary violation. You're just like, we're testing right now to see how it goes, to see like where that, my second boundary is, the, the really hardcore one. And I feel like when I think of things like hugs, that would fall in there. If you're like friendly with somebody and you're chatting with them and you're gonna say goodbye and you give somebody a hug, I think that's like, a, you're kind of like testing or exploring. It's not like a hardcore boundary violation. Like, what the fuck, you just hugged me. Now you fucked up big. It's like, a, okay, you hugged me. If, even if they don't like it, they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa uh, I'm not a hug person. Like, oh, okay, that's fine. Then you just, you wouldn't hug them anymore and you'd move on, it's fine. You did, there was like that a little exploratory bubble and they didn't like that. And then you found out like, oh, there are hard boundaries actually a little bit farther. And then you just don't do that in the future. But if that situation happens, 
I think that's okay. That's fine. That's a part of like exploring. Like somebody might um, sexually, somebody might touch you in a way that you don't really like, and you're like, hey, I'm not into that. And you're like, oh, okay. And that's fine. It happens. It's okay. And as long as he's like exploring in little steps and it's within this bubble, I think it's fine to do that. As long as once you've made it clear, you don't want it to happen, they stop. And as long as they're not pushing like many, 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 many steps above, I think. Mm -hmm. that, that, would, that would be my feeling on it. That, so that's why when I look at the, when I think of somebody who's on the couch and they're cuddling for like an hour, I think that's like, um, I think that's a, that's a big green light for some sort of like exploratory probing. And so like a tickle or a t touching somebody, I think he had his hand on her waist even already maybe. Um, mm -hmm. And if you like tickle somebody, that might be like the next step there. And if they are cool with it and they green light it, it's like, okay, then we, if they don't like it, and there's some indication of that, which I don't know if she gave an indication of, but it seems like he stopped there anyway. And it's like, oh, okay, well maybe she didn't like that or didn't even want to go further. And in either case, it's fine. They didn't go further, it, was, it stopped and then that was it, you know? Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I feel mm -hmm. is okay. All right, that's interesting, I suppose. Um... I think, yeah, I, I think my point would just go back to the intoxication, but obviously we're never going to see eye, eye to eye on, so, you know. Yeah, I think that, I think that being intoxicated, I think, can be problematic. I think we kind of have to figure out, like, what is the level of intoxication? I didn't hear anything about her having, uh, like, a severe hangover, or that she'd, like, thrown up a ton after, or that she was incoherent, because there were, what, there weren't there four or five other people in the room, I think, at the time? Mm -hmm. um, I don't recall anybody coming out and being like, oh, yeah, she, like, was incoherent, or anybody that saw her go into the room before that was like, oh, she was stumbling and so wasted and all of that. I personally, I didn't hear any of that. I don't know if any of that was ever reported. So it doesn't seem like now she could have drank more in the room. That's possible. But it doesn't seem like it was like super out of control. Nobody seemed to report anything like that. So I have nothing to go off of there. Um. Mm. Well, I, I guess there's, you know, levels, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, she was uh, at the tipsy level, I guess, you know, not the incoherent level you know, tipsy people obviously are still going to be advantage of well i don't i think it i think at the tipsy level i think you still have like enough wherewithal to understand like what you want or don't want i, I feel like at the um i when i think of drinking i feel like you have got like layers of boundaries that drinking kind of slowly peels away Personally, now I say this with a lot of caution because it varies from person to person, but I think personally the reason why some people drink is because it helps to peel away a couple of those really uh, hard exterior things that just make you feel awkward or nervous. Now for other people being tipsy or going past that might make you do things that you otherwise wouldn't do. Um, so I think it's worth it to think about that, like the level of intoxication and what a person's doing with that they ordinarily wouldn't do. I think that's worth considering. But then again, when I go back to this particular event, like let's let's try to run scenarios where we envision the mind state of it, George, right? That was the guy, and we try to think like, okay, mm -hmm. well, was he trying to get this girl plied so that he could, you know, plow her? Was he trying to get her intoxicated so he could fuck with her? Like, if I think about this, it seems like two things would have happened. One, she would have gotten way more than tipsy because they would have kept like trying to get her to drink over and over and over again. And two, it feels like it would have pushed farther physically. Like, not to sound crass or whatever, but I can't imagine a bunch of guys, you know, like giggling amongst each other, like 26 year olds who are like, oh dude, I got this girl fucking wasted last night and she let me tickle her tummy. It was like fucking epic. Like, it seems like he would have probably pushed further if that was the goal, right? Mm, maybe not. I mean, she was being pressured. She kept pressuring her to drink, you know, to maintain, obviously to keep talking to him. She had to, you know, participate in the drinking. And obviously she wanted to grow her career she had to keep talking to him and dream. Well, why, but did she have to drink? Like, was uh, that a requirement for the party? Generally, that's kind of socially acceptable. You know, generally, you know, I mean, you're, you're gonna be the guy in the corner drinking your uh, zeros. Uh, I think that if I'm an invi in an environment one-on-one -on -one with a person and the girl really wants me to get fucked up, then I'll get fucked up. But I think that if you're in a party environment and you're like chilling with people, and I think, especially if I can chalk this up to inexperience maybe, but if you're in an environment where everybody's drinking, having fun and chilling or whatever, you can just sip on your drink. Like nobody's gonna notice, unless somebody's being really creepy or weird. Um, like if you go to a party and you don't wanna drink that much, you could just kind of like pick it up, take sips and you're fine. Nobody's gonna be like, hold on, you've only had 20% of that uh, mixed drink. You've only had 20% of that white claw for the past two hours. Like you definitely, like, I think generally you can just sip and be fine. Nobody's gonna notice how drunk you are. Notice how many drinks you've had. Uh, mm. 
I would say there's still pressure. You know, I mean, they were playing drinking games, for example. And, you know, and okay, she sure. Was sort of the focus. Maybe okay. Let's let's imagine that could be the case that there might be pressure. If there might be pressure, and if a person feels like they're not capable of saying anything in regards to that pressure, maybe that's an argument for under twenty one, or at least for her in particular, to not drink or not go to parties where drinking is happening. If it feels like it's going to be unavoidable that if any other drinking is present, she's going to feel pressured to have to drink to keep up. I mean, I would say that's true with most people at the party. I mean, well, but is anybody else complaining about pressures? Well, also, I mean, uh, I understand what you say when you when there are social pressures. There might be social pressures, sure, but I mean, like, there's social pressures for everything. I don't like for people to go to a party and expect other people to drink. Again, if people are pressuring you to drink a lot or to keep downing drink after drink, I think that's a big problem. Um, but like, I don't think there's anything wrong with just going to a party and sipping a little. I don't think anybody's like, I, I really, I didn't hear in the story that somebody was like telling her like, you got to drink more, drink more, drink more. Also, wasn't was she the one who started the drinking games? Ah, uh, no, uh, it was George. Okay. So, like, it's very possible uh, for her to be like, "Oh, like I'm just gonna drink water or just not drink alcohol," right? Well, generally, it's the pressure, you know, it's the spirit of the game. And obviously, if you want to network, you have to, unfortunately, in her world, to take risk. The risk getting raped. No, uh, risking, you know, getting wasted. Well, but like, what's the worst case scenario of getting wasted around, like, guys in their hotel room? Uh, I would assume people would have enough, would have enough class, but obviously they did not. Well, I mean, obviously they did because nobody got raped, right? I she was sexually assaulted, but I guess, uh, no, they didn't. Oh, okay. Um, so, who was the first person who requested alcohol in the room? A lot of people are typing different uh, things. In. I believe it was George who organized it. So, so obviously, I, I also she sure she. I feel that she didn't get up because she, you know obviously you know embarrassing. 10 million sub youtuber could really harm her career wait yeah i don't think it would harm her career she didn't she never had to go to that room i don't, I don't know who would think it would harm her career that i don't understand what that means well by getting up would harm her career you know george would think lower of her did every other girl in the room feel the same pressure uh you know i'd have to ask them but did, I mean, it feels like she got up multiple times and walked towards the door and then came back when people were leaving. Like, is it well, possible that she, maybe she just enjoyed being there? She liked cuddling with the guy? No, I don't think she did. I mean, why would she? No, I don't think she did. What, how, what indication would we have of that? I mean, uh, obviously, why would she target a 10 million sub YouTuber? Did she target uh, him? Like Did they George. go to that room like seeking or, them out? You're making uh, her behavior target. sound predatory. Why would she? Uh, sorry. Why would she uh, uh, accuse him? Well, I don't know. That's the question. It happened eight months later, didn't it? It's yes, a, because she realized retroactively that she was assaulted. Did she realize that, or did that come after friends hyping her up for a long time over it? Uh, I can tell you personally, didn't hype her up. How many people do you think she sent that document to before going live on her YouTube? I mean, personally, I think it would be maybe five or six. Okay. So at least five or six. And then who knows how many people the other people went to. So we've got like a pretty big prepared statement. Did she reach out to talk to him at all about this before going public at all? Uh, no, she didn't. I she remembered the facts pretty coherently i mean you know i mean in general he you know if he reached out if she reached out to her if she reached out to him generally he could quash the story i mean you know that's what happened with i think harvey weinstein first of all harvey weinstein is a completely separate matter um the comparison doesn't work at all because he was pressuring women into sex for roles you're by your own admission katie herself went seeking this guy out for clout is what uh, you said 
well, yes. But, you know, he's a 10 million sub YouTuber. You know, he's one of the largest Minecraft YouTubers. And she, he could crush her career. But she's seeking him out. He could make her career. If she accused him, he, he could crush her career. You know, he could preemptive something. I don't know what he could do, obviously. You know, not a influencer or whatever. I'm sure that's obvious, but... So she's seeking out a guy who could crush her career in the hopes that he doesn't and she gains enough clout to build her career? And now she's so, uh, accusing him of something eight months afterwards uh, for clout to build her career? So this, this makes her yeah, sound she, really predatory. Uh, originally in the hotel room, obviously she's going with her, uh, him and Dream in the hotel room to network. He then assaults her. He doesn't, you know, he talks to us and whatnot and you know it's like oh shit i may have been assaulted and you know obviously she can't really sort this out in private because you know he could just be like nah it didn't happen you know obviously he could obviously you know sort of instead of i don't know for example do like some blacklist say hey this person's insane like uh she's like super rude and toxic like don't work with her. that we play and that could really harm her career that we're asking us. and you can do you, I, I, in George's side of the story, he says that they were the ones also that suggested the drinking game. Has anybody else come out and talked about this besides Katie and George? Uh, maybe. I, uh, so instead of us insisting that we play it, they I were so, actually no. the ones that were asking us. Oh, well, Dream that. obviously has. But. It actually texted multiple. Did Dream say that she suggested the drinking games or that George suggested the drinking uh, games? George suggested the drinking games. Does anybody have a link to a dream statement? I'm curious. I haven't seen dream statements. Well, how do you know that what dream said if you haven't seen any of his? Uh, we haven't seen it in bed. So, what? Wait, did you? Hello? Is this GW? Is the AI breaking? Your the thing is your voice is like that. Wait, wait, your your something is weird with your mic right now. Something's like super fucky. Like you sound like Darth Vader or something. Yeah, I'm gonna let me call you back. Hold on. Hello? That's it up to now? No. Can you hang up and rejoin the call? Uh. Fuck. Tom wants in. Oh, God. Hello? Hello, hello? Does it work now? Oh, yep. Now it works fine. Yeah. No. Um, Do I sound like Derek? You know? I am your father. Yeah, no, not anymore. Wait, can I? I have another friend who wants to ask a couple questions. Can I drag him in? I'd rather not. I've only prepared for you. Oh, okay. It's the Turkey Tom dude. Yeah, he wants to ask things, but. <sighs> sure. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, something, I'll, I might not answer some. So. Yeah, that's fine. You don't have to. Also, don't, um, you can think about what you want to answer first. You don't have to answer anything you don't want to. It's not, it's not like a, you're not like under yeah. oath or anything. Obviously, I've only prepared for you. I, I, I saw he made a video on it. But I yeah. Didn't see yet, so. Okay. I'm, I'm making another call. Hold on. We might have to join that one. One sec. Oh, God. Yeah, hello, I didn't hello, hello. See your video, so obviously I might not be able to respond to everything. I might refuse to answer some questions, just to make that clear. Oh, you'll be answering, don't you worry. Um, so the big question I have is, do you remember Katie's statement? You probably saw the entire initial Twitch stream. Mm -hmm. Do you remember whether or not she mentioned that there was cuddling going on? Uh, I believe she mentioned it. I don't think she well, did, right? At least implied from my recollection, there was no mention of the cuddling. Can you speculate maybe as to why that would have been left out? 
Uh, I think she implied it. I mean, obviously. It what do you mean implied? Probably... She said they were sitting uh, I mean... next to each other on the couch, and all of a sudden he starts touching her. Mm, I th think it was implied. What does that uh, mean? Yeah, I don't. I don't think it was explicitly stated because it, I, it would make her. <laughs> well, look what do you? Bad. What do you mean? How do you imply that you're cuddling someone? Like, how would you imply that? Uh, yeah, we we sat you know really nice and close to each other. Uh, does that imply cuddling? If you're sitting next to someone. Uh, we sat really close, and I, I don't know. I'm not a writer, you know. Uh, you're not a writer. Do you have to be a writer? Uh, wow, well, I man. I mean, I think we can all, we can all though. from, uh, from this, we can all, we can all, I don't know what you mean by implied cuddling. If I say I'm sitting really close to someone, would you assume that I'm cuddling them? No, but, you know, in the context of the whole event, you know, I think, I think uh, that there are that ways is... to, I think there are ways to imply cuddling, but the way to imply cuddling would be like, yeah, we were kind of like laying down and she had her head on my chest. I think that would like imply cuddling. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, yes, that yeah. would imply cuddling. But That's I think that like said. sitting next to somebody, I was playing I... games on my phone to distract mm -hmm. myself from the fact that he was touching me. And then what he says is, oh, we were playing games together. And then she and her and her statement afterwards had to concede the fact that, yes, they were actually cuddling. And then she had to say, I didn't know cuddling was inherently sexual. Now, let me ask you, Persephone, have you cuddled with a girl before? Uh, yeah. Was this just Only a friend? Uh, my current girlfriend. Um, Your current girlfriend. Yeah. Have you cuddled with any other girls? No, I'm obviously I'm not. You know, okay. I'm funny, so if, if your girlfriend that. found out that you were cuddling with another girl, how would she feel? Obviously, not very happy. Okay, and why is that? Uh, she could say it's cheating. Right? right, because cuddling is like an intimate activity, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, that so line of questioning! Kind of weird God that Katie damn! The fact that they were cuddling, because it's inherently an intimate. That was activity. a, like that I was a not, brutal I line. Oh my God! That I didn't plan on fucking. I probably wouldn't cuddle with a guy that I didn't plan on fucking, and I'm not even gay. Is he a debate Jedi? What the fuck? I think she implied it. <laughs> what do you mean Sorry. by that? What do you mean implied? How do you imply cuddling? She said, she said they were hanging out, he was being weird and creepy, they were sitting next to each other, and then all of a sudden I, she feels his hand on her, and she tries to just think, look at her phone to distract herself. Like, I wouldn't, would you ever, would you ever cuddle with someone with, with like, no intent of ever having anything past that? Well, she was also cuddling with uh, her other friend who was at the event. Who was her other friend? Uh, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if they want to be involved. Is Katie gay? Uh. That's a bad yeah. question. Every kid your age is bisexual now, Tom. You should know this. Okay. Fucking you raise your point. I guess, I guess the, the, the thing I'm trying to Every illustrate here, nowadays. the thing, the thing I'm very clearly. Oh, sorry. Bye with our millennials. Is program. like, okay. is like, did, did cuddling give him a right to like rip her clothes off and go silverback gorilla mode on her? Definitely not. That would be a step too far. But mm -hmm. if you're cuddling with someone, is it a major transgression for someone to then touch your stomach? And would that leave you uh, traumatized? I wouldn't say it's a major transgression. I would say he should have, you know, maybe... You wouldn't say sexual assault is a major transgression? You've been saying he, she got sexually assaulted the entire time. Uh, I guess it would... I would say it's a transgression. A major transgression, I guess, would be rape. So this is minor sexual assault in your mind, then? Uh, sure, the major transgression. And so it is major. Okay, gotcha. Look, man, I, I think I just encourage you to think about the fact that, uh, uh, Katie lied. Um, uh, <laughs> she lied. I, I don't, don't know why. I, uh, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what the purpose was. Um, I know it sucks to find out that someone that was your friend is kind of full of shit. I think her tears were real. I don't know who convinced her that she was traumatized. Uh, a lot of people are pointing towards this this Amesy person. I don't know much about them, but a lot of people are saying that she's involved somehow. I have no fucking idea what that is about. But what I will say is that uh, there's absolutely no circumstance in the real world under which what happened would be considered sexual assault. In literally, in literally any in any courtroom, he would never be found mm -hmm. guilty of anything. It would never happen. And there, and you said before, I'm I'm sure there are cases where you know tickling has been called sexual. Assault. That's just that has not happened. That is fake. That is. <laughs> That is, this is completely nebulous. It never happened, dude. Uh, well, it reminds me of my friend Willie Wren, who 
uh, generally this guy is not too good with consent. Obviously, he's a Twitch streamer. Follow him. Your friend isn't um, good with consent? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, well, uh, generally, uh, I I remember I was talking with him, obviously, an online friend. Uh, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Uh, 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 so generally, I was talking to him, and, you know, he... You know, he kissed, you know, he was, you know, cuddling and, you know, he went straight, you know, uh, started French kissing. And it's like, and the girl pushed him off and, you know, he didn't ask. And I think it's a similar situation to what happened with, with this Willy. Uh, yes, uh, you know, I think people can make mistakes. Oh, I see. So then what is even the thing that you're hoping to come out of the George Not Found thing? What are, what are you hoping is, like, the result? Uh, what do you think want, Katie is hoping is the result? I just want uh, accountability for George, and he apologized, and I think uh, I well, generally... Why do you think... Do you think wait, 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 hold on, wait, real quick. Why couldn't that apology have just been private? Uh, I mean, what would be his incentive to apologize? Well, why not? Well, if he doesn't, yeah, then you go he, public. But when you sit, when you make things public, when you say accountability, it sounds like you're talking about a public execution. That's what ninety nine percent of people would think of, right? I I guess yeah. I mean, cancel culture. Uh, well, you hold on. Wait to be clear. Wait, wait. Just to be clear, you are the cancel culture here, right? It's not cancel culture. It's not a thing that's all around us. You are the cancel culture here. That's what's happening, right? Uh, yes. If someone sexually assaults someone, they should be canceled. That's okay. So when you said earlier accountability, you did mean public that's execution. Right. They should be canceled, and that's what accountability is. Do you kind of see how the narrative here? I was trying to be a good cop. Fuck you, Tom. Do you see the problem with saying that you have a friend who is lying about her age so that she can drink alcohol in an attempt to gain that cloud and network with people, and that she's doing that just network. to gain cloud and network with people while putting everybody else at risk, and now she's had a very minor physical encounter with a guy who's also really popular, and now she decides to go public and accuse him of something that, of tickling. Do you see how all of this like plays really, really, really poorly in terms of just making her seem like a clout demon that is now just doing this for clout? Like if somebody would lie about their age, get intoxicated, um, hang out with people for clout, why not falsely accuse somebody of SA for clout eight months later after not even contacting them a single time about it? Wait, wait, real quick, wait, wait, I'm sorry, wait, 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 I'm sorry, real quick. Can you disconnect and reconnect your mic or hang up and come back again? You sound like a robot again, it just... Uh, my net just sucks. Uh, or hit it. Will you sound like on Wakanda internet? Darth Vader. Uh, I think my net just sucks. Um, Can you just it. disconnect and just reconnect, maybe reboot whatever device you're using? <laughs> Dude, this is retarded. Oh my I'm god. I'm trying to be, he's just 20, he's a child. <laughs> I'm 21. Wouldn't you treat me? You're... <laughs> whatever. Okay, yeah. now. That's why I stopped when I tickled you, Tom. Base, dude. But then you went silverback gorilla mode and ripped my clothes off and went deep in the pussy. Well, after you showed um, me, I'll... Sorry. Well, well, what, you know, say, for example, you know, you're in an abusive relationship where your partner beats you. You could say, think that this is normal, because obviously you've been with this person for a long time. And, you know, it could take you, you know, let's say, it could take you a long time to realize that this person's abusive. You know, you could accuse this person retroactively, I guess. You know, that's true, but the problem the problem facts. is not the problem is not just like the waiting period or anything. The main problem is that she waited so long to expose him for something that is not sexual assault. That is the main issue in my mind, and I think that's uh, I think that's very important. Now, as far as George apologizing, I think something that you would probably admit is that the Minecraft community and the MCYT stand community is extremely toxic, extremely vindictive, is constantly trying to cancel people. I mean, Dream apologized. Once a month, every single fucking year, all by the same people who demanded an apology were calling him a pedophile unjustly. Uh, there's a lot of public pressure, social pressure from the community. Um, and he probably felt like he might lose his career if he didn't apologize. Because even after his response, uh, where he pointed out that she lied by omission, or he pointed out that it definitely wasn't sexual assault, people weren't accepting it. Slowly now they are. I'm seeing the stands come around. Uh, the, the free thinking ones, okay, the ones that aren't the iRobot guy. But generally speaking, there's a lot of social pressure from this community. And people were saying he should lose his career. People were saying on Twitter they hope he dies. 
People were saying they hope he gets cancer. People were trying to deplatform him like consistently. I mean, this is this is like part of the community, and so obviously, like on one hand, like I think George, it's probably worth calling him a coward for that apology. But on the other hand, like the reason why he did it is because of the insane social pressure that exists within MCYT. Um, I would say obviously cancel culture. You know, obviously I don't support people telling them to kill themselves, and obviously, you know, I think. You know, I mean, I, I don't personally, you know, if someone falsely accused me of sexual assault, I don't see why I would, you know, apologize to my family about it, you know? I would you know, firmly deny it, so. Uh, I don't, obviously, well, probably I'm not probably because he felt like there was so. an insurmountable battle he had to face. So, I, obviously, my perspective is very different, but I guess as a normie, I personally wouldn't. When, I think know, as a normie, involved. you should have you should have the opinion that it's not sexual assault at all. I think that's the opinion you should have. I mean, even from Katie's story, like, uh, the, the, her story the first time around was crazier, but the second time when she had to address and she had to clarify and walk back some of the things she said, I think that's the point where it became very clear to me that it's absolutely not sexual assault under any circumstance. It could never be called that. I think, I mean, I guess I have to defend her after canceling. I'll also bring up my friend Willie Ren, obviously friends with him, so I want to lenient. He, for example, I think, or three years ago, told the victims to kill themselves. And, you know, there was a talk, he was intoxicated, and he came clean and he apologized to public pressure. I guess, you know, and obviously that same thing happened with George. I guess I'm glad it did. To make it clear, you're comfortable being friends with someone who you think sexually assaulted someone else? Uh, he... He changed. Uh, he, you know, he owned up for his mistakes. That was three or four years ago. So, wouldn't it be possible that, like, what, isn't there a isn't there a world where Katie uh, messages George and she's like, "Hey, when you did that thing, uh, I didn't really like it, and I wish you would have asked me first. And then George would have been like, "Oh shit, I didn't even know. Like, thanks for telling me. Like, I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable." And then he just asks for it like explicitly in the future like couldn't that interaction have happened uh i think if george asked her i think it would have been all fine no 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 no. i'm saying after the fact couldn't she have just like had fun or i'm sorry had a conversation with him privately and then like sorted it all out like couldn't that have been... i think she was afraid of like the harvey weinstein i mean he could wait wait, wait, wait. you keep saying watch the story she could have still gone public the exact same no I mean, he would have prepared for the story, and he could have... What, none know, of the facts would have her. changed, no? When you say could have prepared for the story, you make it sound like she's lying, and he could have, like, gotten... Well, there's ways to crush the truth, you know? It took what, 10, 20 years for Harvey Weinstein to be... Hold on. You, wait, 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 wait. You keep bringing up Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein was not... Hold on. I don't believe Harvey Weinstein was assaulting people. Harvey Weinstein, I'm pretty sure, was, like, full-on raping, raping people, people was fucking women for roles and pressuring them, Okay. This girl seeked out George. George wasn't her boss. George wasn't employing her. George wasn't offering her opportunities and pressuring her for sex afterwards. That None of that ever happened. If anything, every single part of the story plays counter to that narrative because her and George didn't have sex. George didn't seem to punish her at all for it. He didn't try to cancel her from anything. He didn't try to ax her out of any projects. He wasn't pressuring her afterwards, was he? Like they had eight months afterwards of conversations where he never said like, hey, we didn't fuck. So now, you know, I'm coming after you. Or like, yeah, we're not gonna work with that Katie chick. She's kind of like a stuck up bitch. Like, I don't wanna do anything with her, fuck her. Like, did that? Did any of that ever happen? Was there any retribution at all? I mean, she was scared of that happening. But it didn't. It could've, but it didn't you happen think, because she Do you think that public. someone can be scared of something that's like unreasonable or unjust or like, like just dumb paranoia that's not justified? Do you think that's possible? Uh, I mean, considering you know uh, things happened before with Harvey Weinstein. I why wait wait why do you keep wait wait Harvey why Weinstein, do you keep bringing though? up Harvey bringing Weinstein? Up fucking Harvey Weinstein. This is completely unrelated to that. Has there ever been a case in the MCYT community from Dream or George or Sapnap or one of their friends who were like, hey, if you want to make it to the top, you got to suck my dick? Has that happened? Uh, maybe it's happened. Wait, has this ever no, happened so in the no, gaming community ever? No, 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 it has not happened in this community. You say maybe it happened. Do you think the possibility of something happening means it is like a valid concern to have? I, I mean, could have raped someone it, last it's, night. It's a possibility, I, mean, I guess. Considering it has happened in other industries such as... But this is know, not that industry. industry. This is YouTube. 
Wait, wait, wait. I mean, Do you think, wait, wait. Have women made false accusations before? Uh, yeah. Okay, so if that's happened, should we just assume then that because it's possible, then she must be making a false allegation? No, I don't think you should. I, I think that. Wait, wait. If we can Obviously, assume that if we can assume that Weinstein has done things in other industries, and we're going to assume George could be Weinstein, couldn't we also assume that the girl could be a false accuser? Mm, I don't. Sorry, can you repeat that again? Sorry. If we I assume that George could be a rapist, why can't we assume that she could be a false accuser? Uh, I mean, you don't know the truth 100%. I mean,. Yeah, but none of the truth 100% is, is cutting in her favor. I mean, he apologized you know for it. You weren't even fucking there. I mean, fair enough, but I, I trust my friend's account, but, you know? Yeah, but your friend's account isn't rape or sexual assault either. She was touched, so inappropriate. If you get touched, yeah, does that mean it's sexual assault? Uh, yes. I don't so if I touch, if, if, someone, if someone says, hey, do you want to touch me? And I say, yeah, and I touch them, is that sexual assault? Uh, if I randomly, I don't know, touched your thigh, uh... Was it random? Uh, it, yeah. You think it's random to be cuddling with someone for an hour and then touch their stomach? You think that's random? You think that's I as random as seeing a someone on the street? Sudden, I think that was a sudden, sudden escalation. Yeah. Sudden escalation? Well, hold on. By definition, every single thing that happens in time and space is sudden. Every action it's is discreet. Sudden, what do you mean? Like, there was, well, I mean, there was like, it was sudden and then, like, he suddenly touched her, but, like, this is a long chain of also, events. Like, everything is a sudden thing. Like, they were suddenly cuddling and then they were also, suddenly talking. Uh, like, what do you mean? Like, it's. <laughs> also, if we look at uh, past examples, to, sorry for bringing out an uh, early point, if we look at past examples of people like Lion Maker, uh, generally. Lion Maker groomed you know, a 13 year old girl and raped her. And plenty of boys. Uh, and Lion, yeah, also, so that guy's an actual boys, convicted babe. pedophile. <laughs> And he, you know, he threatened people's uh, careers. Yes, but this is not Lion Maker. Like, these are different people. Do you think that well, all YouTubers are the he's same a person? Figure in the, you know, he's in the same community, so I think... No, he, he was in the same community, and then he raped no. a kid, and he got fucking kicked out. Well, he was in the same community, yeah. Yeah, and when you say the same community, also, this is 10 years ago with completely different people. They just played the same fucking game, so they weren't even in the same community. Mm, uh, what do you mean, mm? Yeah. You think George not found is talking to Lion Maker like, "Hey man, look what I'm about to do. Check yeah, this he's out." He's like, "Oh fuck, if 18. That's a little old." Like, do you think that's what's going uh, on? This is not the same community. They don't even know each other. Am I in the same community as you? I don't fucking know who you are. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. I mean, it is fair. Do you see how like fair this is this is like completely just like retarded? No, I. I guess you basically had to concede every is, point, but you're still clinging on to the idea like, oh, this is sexual assault. You can't explain how. I I just I, I guess I feel uh, I feel that I have to defend my friend. I guess there are okay. a lot of Minecraft <laughs> YouTubers who do bad stuff. I, uh, I mean, wait, what's are I you mean, friends I with guess. the are you friends with who? Tom, help me out here. Who are the people that hate Dream and the other George? The people that hate Dream are it's like this British squad of people. It's uh. I think, uh uh, I think Ryan it's Amesy. I. I think it's uh, the guy that was screaming over the emo music. These people. Wait, yeah. Do know. you know that? Uh, oh, wait. You did say that guy was another friend. Ryan. Yeah. yeah are you friends with Ryan? Uh, we're not close, but you know, sort of like acquaintances. Do you, you think know? that being like a part of this other friend group also kind of makes things look <laughs> kind of weird? I mean, people are friends, you know. I mean, but you're. Yeah, but it kind of sounds like you guys are playing, like, Game of Rapes over here. There's, like, some massive, like, conspiracy to try to weaponize an 18-year-old's tickle experience as leverage to take down an opposing royal family is what it feels like. Uh, Game of Thrones? Uh, I, I don't think so. I mean, she, she was just assaulted. I mean, it's a simple story. Well, it's not a simple story games. because she's decided to make a... Now it's not a... I agree with you that it was a simple story. I don't think it was assault. It was a simple story, but now it's not. Now it's an incredibly dramatic story 
right? Where I think she, I think she should be canceled. I think her career should end here. And probably most of the people involved. In really, this group. I, absolutely, absolutely. She admitted to drinking underage. Uh, she had a fake ID, or she got a ban somehow when she shouldn't have. She went into an apartment by your own admission and hers, looking for clout. Uh, she cuddled with a guy for an hour, and then afterwards came out doing another accusation, looking for clout. Like, yeah, this is like the worst set of facts ever. I would never work with or in in tangent with a person like this ever in my entire life. Persephone, if someone sexually assaulted you, would you go back and continue cuddling with them? Well, f uh, hold on. Well, she felt pressure. To, she was intoxicated, so. Okay, um, and whose fault is that? Really uh, I can't really blame her for wanting to network. Dude, you're 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 giving the so so, you're, so everything. Katie you're not supposed to say this part out loud. Not her fault. Not her responsibility. Yeah. She didn't know what she was doing. You can't blame her. Everything George does is he knew what he was doing. It's all his fault. You see how this doesn't make sense? I can't blame her. What can you blame her for? If she kills someone with her car tomorrow, would you be like, "Well, I can't blame her. She was trying to get to work so she could uh, walk, so she could do her Minecraft stream." I, like what? I I mean, people have personal I responsibility. Don't really She's think I adult. can? I don't really think I can blame a freshly eighteen-year-old. Oh, freshly uh, eighteen. Boy. She was eighteen and six. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Also, uh, she was a legal adult. Wait, are you really the one who came up with the freshly eighteen? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's a good phrase. It worked. It worked. Yeah, it worked for to it fucking worked. cancel someone. You're right. It did fucking work, you piece of shit. What is wrong it with you? It got people's attention. It got people's attention. It got people's attention. Wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. When like... you say it got people's attention, you're implying that the original story is so dull and boring that you had to spice it up, right? You didn't uh, need to get people's I... attention with the Harvey Weinstein stuff. You could just lay out the facts and it's horrible. But when you have to spice up the uh, language I, and have her steal other words from actual rape victims, like, I felt like I was dirty and I could never wash it off, like, you're lying, right? You're, it's like a, it's a, it's a clout campaign I, at the expense of the other I guy's think career. You're twisting my words. You said it got people's attention. Like, I, that, unfortunately, I don't think that's to get your people's words. attention, you need a flair for the dramatic. Bro. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess you definitely did a good job of making it way more dramatic than it was, didn't you? Who else helped in this document? I don't really want to help people. Why not? You said five or six. You, you're already out of Katie. Well, she outed herself. Well, yeah, she obviously is the one writing. So. I mean, you just, you come on the stream and made yourself and her look like fucking idiots, so who else? Come on, give it to me. Let's do some real justice. Real people. Well, obviously, my friend Willie Red helped. Uh, I'm sure that's obvious. Willie helped. Yes. So the is it is this the guy you're talking about that had some kind of allegation? Uh, yeah, I I <laughs> think it was stupid. So a guy who you believe sexually assaulted victims. someone helped someone else write a document calling someone else out it's for sexual assault. It's his path to redemption. Okay, he's redeemed uh, himself in the eyes of I, the woke. He apologized, and I think that. I hope that her and George can move on. So if I um, <laughs> if I went apologize. silverback gorilla mode on a random girl on the street and raped her, would you say if I apologize? I it's like, think okay. rape is pretty extreme, but you know, let's say you were to accidentally bump into someone, or let's say you were to, I don't know, let's say the same thing happened with you. I think if he apologized and he owned up, which he did, I, I think. Uh, so you know, why do you think she I felt the need him? to make a, uh, a a public statement if all she wanted was a simple apology? Because the only thing that a public statement does is uh, make other people think people that he's a were... danger. Like fucking know. blow up situation. That's... Why not just why not just message him and be like, hey. Yeah, this is what I don't understand. Why happened. could you not have just messaged and then it's like, well, Harvey Weinstein. Like at this point, do you understand that that argument is used for everything? Like, let's say she gets raped, she shouldn't go to the cops because remember that one true crime story where the cop actually raped the girl too? Like, the cop could be rapist. You don't want to go to your parents because remember that one time, uh, you know, parents, Casey Anthony, whatever the fuck, like parents killed their children. Like, you can't talk to your parents. Like, you don't want to go to your friends because remember those stories where sometimes friends I... kill their friends. Like, it's such a weird thing to say that anybody could be a rapist, murderer, thief, burglar at any point in time, and then we're gonna operate like that's a fact, even though it's a possibility, I a low one. Like, that's insane. Think we could. I think we could uh, operate on the fact that obviously he's a large figure. Let's say, you know, let's look at this rationally. I'm a large figure and I'm about to be accused of sexual assault, which I later apologize for. Hmm, what do I do? Okay, this person, I hear rumors from my mail. Yeah, she got. Hold on, wait, wait. I'm sorry, wait, wait. Just yeah, to head this off, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, wait, wait. Let me head this off as a large content creator for 15 years. If you sexually assaulted somebody, you can't get ahead of that. You're fucked. 
and you know it. There's no way to get ahead of that. There's nothing you can do. Assuming that it actually happened. Wow, Caddy Patty thinks of the five people uh, memberships. You can't, there's no way, what, like. Bosch uh, sexually harassed someone and managed to get across, ahead of it for about five years, so. What, hold on, Vosh did. didn't get ahead of it. He literally had to do a full on fucking name change and everything to try to separate himself from it. He didn't get ahead yeah, of that at all. He just got re for it again, yeah. now that people found out he likes. And know, people literally bring it up over stuff. and over again. Yeah, he didn't get away from that at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, he did until the thing came out. I mean, he. What do you mean? Yeah, I li I'm the one that outed this. What are you talking about? I outed this right after it happened. I was there. I, this is my life. I mean, you're he talking about thousands of subscribers. So. That's fine. Yeah, because it probably wasn't that big of a deal. He did it. It was kind of creepy. It was kind of shitty, but it wasn't like the worst fucking thing in the world. He was creepy and, and pushy to some girl on Discord, but it's not the end of the fucking world. I mean, he also led harassment against her. Like, yeah, that was actually harassment. worse, to be honest. But also not the end of the world. Yeah. I've probably done worse if I think hard enough. If I get hard enough, I'm sorry. Tom, you can't be in here when I'm talking seriously. My bad, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Let me back up. Do you wait, think wait. Katie likes Skibbity Toilet? Or no, no, stop, no. stop, stop. Hold on. I'm just curious. And this would never be a request because nobody would ever say this, that we should leak all the text messages. But I'm just curious. In all of your guys' conversation and all of your workshopping the stock and all of this making it spicy and dramatic, after you said you didn't help that much, okay, and all of this... Did anybody ever step in there like, hey, have you thought about messaging him and talking to him? Or was the goal from the very beginning to always make this a very public ordeal? Uh, I mean, you could get ahead of the curve. So you, it wasn't even consideration. So do you think that in the future, do you think that every single bad event that happens between two people when one person's famous, all of it should be made public immediately? There's no, there is no uh, more private reconciliation. Nobody can just like make a mistake. Nobody can like fuck up. I think like it depends on the circumstance. Like, I don't know, let's say you say, I don't know, let's say you shit talk someone in private. Obviously that's something you can sort out, but I think if you sexually assault someone, that's not really something, obviously I don't think that's something you can sort out. Well, what about your friend? Uh, I feel some bias because I'm friends with them. <laughs> Do you think you're biased because you're friends with Katie? I mean, I'd be lying if I wasn't. Okay. Do you think that your friendship with her is clouding your judgment of how events went down, maybe? Uh... Because you feel bad yeah, for her? I don't deny it's possible. Okay. Uh, the conversation kind of running in circles, but... Uh... All right. I think uh, uh, I think you've probably you've probably done. I'm gonna finish. Finish. I just I think that possibly done point? today. Yeah, I think you can. But like, so, it's, this uh, is like wait, wait, have, real quick. This is like. Can I finish my point? Can okay. I have like a concluding statement? Go for it. So I just did this as an experiment to see how easy I could. Oh my bullshit. god! I Was it a troll the entire her, time? So, yep, nothing to do with her. And I think you really need to fact check more. Like, uh, listen, I just wanted the content. Okay. <laughs> I mean, wrong. I, I really think you need to be more rigorous with letting people on stream. So I saw so, so, so if I could try and do this and see that I was successful. So Well, good job. Uh, thank you <laughs> for the... I think everything uh, what I said is bullshit. That's so. what you think happened, dude? <laughs> thank you for the 10,000 view stream. Uh, we appreciate it. Are you it. fucking fun. high? <laughs> Are you smoking crack? Dude, can I get some, please? Give it to me. I have nothing to do with her. I mean, you can ask her. <laughs> I never even met her in my life, so... I think I just saw Destiny's video and I'm like... Yeah, I think that would make some good content, so that's why I did it. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I get to spend more time with my friend Turkey Tom, so thanks for bringing us together. So, hey, you're welcome. Bye. Tom just watched $50,000 get flushed down the toilet because he was going to make that sick video. Dude, that guy has no fucking brain. <laughs> what do you mean? What the fuck is going on, dude? What is going on? This is crazy. What is wrong with these people? Is it just because they're young? But I'm young and I feel like I'm not that dumb, but maybe I am. I don't know. Wait, are you? do you think he wasn't a troll? Or... He's a troll? What do you mean? Wait, do you no think- No way. He... Oh, you think that, you think all of that was real? And then it- Dude, there's no, there's no, he, <laughs> if he is, I mean, he fucking owned us, but I feel like there's no way. He's a troll? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. I feel like if he knows Vosh, if the guy said he was 20, I guess it's possible. You should just make a video on it anyway, see what happens. 
I had a. Uh, I will say that I had a conversation. No I had he, a, he, he knew. De- he knew details about it. I had a conversation about. Um, did you ever watch with like three years ago? It was like me and like a few fifteen or sixteen year olds and Mister Girl. Did you ever see this conversation? Um. It was like a couple high school no. people were basically trying to like me too some seventeen year old who was like awkwardly flirting with like a fifteen year old in the same high school. And it was just like, it was an unbelievably stupid fucking conversation. And it, this felt the exact same. So this guy was trolling. I give him props. The fact he knew about the Vosh thing makes me think he is like, I don't know. I feel like if he's one of Katie's friends, there's no way they would come on stream, which is why I was weirded out. So now that I'm thinking about it, maybe you're right, but holy shit. It would be a pretty big lack of candor. It would be pretty dumb. I think it was just, I think it was an epic, I think it was an epic troll. Turkish Tom. Bro, you guys gotta stop coping. That dude was a troll. Hold on, Tom's coping over here. Okay. I dude, I can't I just it. can't accept it. I can't accept it. I don't know, man. Towards the end, now that Destiny says it when he knows about Vosh, probably. Yeah, I think I when he did mention the Vosh thing, I was like, wait, he knows who Vosh is? Because I thought he wasn't He was also yeah. a little too retarded. Like it was a little easy, you know? Well, I don't know. Too that's that, that's a hard one because Kids are pretty retarded. It's unironically how most of, how most of her friends think and stuff about this, but yeah, but I mean, like you're around that same age and you're not like retarded like that. I don't know if it's just like a mind. Tom is thing. exceptionally smart. This is a bright young kid over here. Oh. That's why I had to put him through the troll ringer. Okay, me and that I'm other guy, we actually we actually right planned now, this out like... together, and I knew that Tom was gonna come on and take the bait. So good job, friend. Uh, other guy who I'm uh, actually working with. So. So I, I don't know what's what's going on. like is this just like tickling is that the uh, is that the extent of the uh, allegation? I've been <laughs> yes. out of the loop on this, looking into like Keppel, so it's like this is just on the fucking orbit. How did this guy reach out to you? Did he email you? Yeah, he emailed me and then wanted to come to Discord. I thought about it, it was did, funny. Did he, have, this... did he have did he have any verification that he was? No, I don't know. I thought about it at the beginning to ask me like, would somebody really fake this? It seems so fucking retarded, but. I guess he did. Bro. I don't know, bro. People will do anything for a little bit of clout, I guess. How would you not laugh, though? Like, I, would, I wouldn't... I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, he, that was a... I would give that performers an A-. minus. That was a pretty good one. I thought it was good, yeah. yeah. For a bit. Well, what have what uh, you been up to, uh... Muda? Me? Yeah. Dude, I've been, like, fucking full <laughs> investigating Keffels, bro. I'm on, like, my fucking uh, Hank Schrader arc. I'm putting up all the shit in my uh, goddamn garage, like, pinning down this monster. Fucking hater, dude. Wait, that guy mind- that guy mind-raped me. <laughs> <laughs> He's so- dude! I didn't consent oh, to debating man. the troll. Look, even the- to debating Katie's friend. Look at the here, mind raped. here's oh, the email. Man. It was it's just like the way that it's, it just seems pretty authentic. This guy's this guy I give this guy I give him an A minus. Like I look at the way bro. a yeah. close friend of Kate. No, not online. It was KT Biggs. Who like he sounds like a like he sat his voice, the way that he spoke, the way that he writes, everything is like. <laughs> the thing is like she hasn't been saying anything about it. But at the same time, like the Ryan guy did, like go like Spurg mode on stream or whatever. So, so he he's he, like the whole Wait, thing who is the fuck just was the friend he was saying he's friends with that sexually assaulted someone. What the fuck is going, dude? My <laughs> mind is fucked. The guy Bro, okay, okay, hold me. on, hold on, hold on. Come back, come back to Planet Earth here. So, so explain, explain the fucking. <laughs> George and I found to to a total normal. You're not right gonna, now, bro. Man. It's the story is so stupid. You're just you're not gonna believe it. Okay. Did you ever no, play, dude, wait wait? Did you, ever play, did you ever play Halo Two? <laughs> yeah. Remember when you get to the end of Halo Two and you're like, wait, what? It's like that. Okay. Oh my god. It's like I think here's the story. Some girl who was 18 got a wristband to start drinking. Freshly or, 18. Yeah, freshly 18. I'm sorry, freshly 18. <laughs> and he even had that detail. Tommy's like, I was the one that had the freshly 18 thing, right? He said that. He said it. He said he was like, well, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, this guy goes up. Uh, or I'm sorry. So Katie and a couple of her friends end up going up to Dream and George, whatever his fucking hotel room. And I guess she's like on the. Uh, She's on the couch with the George guy and they're kind of like cuddling and playing games and drinking and whatever for, I guess, an hour. And then eventually he kind of like touches, he creeps his hand. I don't want to say creep, I'm sorry. His hand, I, apparently he's like, they're touching each other the whole time. He's like, and then he starts touching her stomach, I guess. And then- um, They were cuddling for an hour and then he touched her tummy. Yeah, she got, and I guess she she, he's like tickling her. And then now eight months later, she's like, looking back, I realize my life has never been the same. I'm angry every day. I, I try to take, I can never clean this off of me. I feel dirty all the time. Like. 
Dude, unironically, what just what happened to her is way less bad than the mind rape I just experienced. This is insane. What if Katie what came on now and she was like, "This was all a troll." <laughs> she was like, "I lied the whole time. It was a social experiment." Almost like, man, I had a banger video that just got ripped from my fucking hands, dude. Dude, I literally like, because I saw Katie's friend, so I just assumed that Destiny had verified that it was Katie's friend, and I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm gonna talk to Katie's friend today. So I get in the fucking stream. Okay, if it was Katie's friend, there's no way they would want me in either, which is also, I think that's now that I'm everything's being fucking reevaluated. I feel like fucking, I'm literally a rape victim, like reanalyzing every fucking event. And True, and you're, you're like, did I make a like, mistake here? Like, was it my fault? Did I fuck up? Was it my Fault? Like, what was it? What I was wearing? Like, Jesus, dude. Yeah, bro, you gotta fucking, you gotta just take a long shower now, dude. Get that stink off you. <laughs> yeah, dude. Tom right was so Tom was, Tom was hype. Tom was like, he's got his video camera rolling. He's like, Destiny, let me get me to this fucking conversation. I'm fucking. Dude, ready. I had my whole camera crew behind me. We were ready to fucking. We were ready for. Action. Dude, like everything, everything out of this whole like discourse I've seen on Twitter has just been like shitting on both of you guys for apparently being like rape apologists and all that crap. Am I getting shit on for you? No, just, oh, base. Okay. No, it's like well, the I did, fucking I, I MCYT stuff. It, so it's fine, right? It's like it's like the it's like the stupid brain dead Minecraft YouTube community, bro. Like yeah, these people yeah, are crazy. I, Honestly, I could care less about it happening to like these fucking like nut jobs because at the end of the day, they fostered this crap. So, it. I mean, like, <laughs> what what are we gonna do, right? Like, what's gonna happen? They they made this parasocial bed. They laid yeah, in like, it. Look at what Dream was wearing, like, dude. Yeah, honestly, bro. You know, honestly, like, bro. This this is the thing. It's like these people, like, they haven't had sex outside of like Discord, so they have no real fucking idea what real world shit is like. Honestly, this is just the biggest slap to like actual victims of like real sexual assault. Like that guy who came on, I'm, I'm, obviously he has to be. Wow, Dixie, thanks for the gifted friendly. Like, like the Weinstein well. shit. Like he's a troll, but I've kind of seen that parroted a little bit too. Yeah, the right? problem is every single thing he said, of. I've seen and heard actual people say. Like yeah. Oh man! Someone in the chat, a hippopot of T says Tom was accused of being a rape apologist. It was the real victim in the end, dude. That's true. That's literally true. It Jesus. was projection the entire time for my own experience mm -hmm. with fucking Persephone. Wait, what? The, how did that happen? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? This isn't real. I don't know. Is what? everyone you bring on a troll? No, usually I verify people, but I was like, fuck it, because it's Is really. Is Norman Jinkelstein a troll? That's a good question. <laughs> that I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. Bro, what was that fucking debate even like, dude? I saw like a bit and piece on uh, on Twitter about it. Apparently, they were like, "Yo, Destiny got owned in every clip that I watched." I'm like, the other like the guy who you were debating was just getting emotional the whole time. It's like you're reading Wikipedia. It's like, bro, they have sources attached. He's not clicking on the. Well, and also, I was never, I never read Wikipedia to him. I was just fucking. <laughs> I was like quoting like the either Amnesty International or the UN or the ICJ, but he was just yeah he was ultra triggered. But you know yeah, but I read real books, not websites. <laughs> that was fucking unhinged, dude. Yeah, but this so, uh, uh, this whole this whole George not found stuff, man. Fucking the whole Minecraft like groomer community. I just find it so weird how everyone compares this shit to like Epstein and and. Um, Weinstein and all these people, like actual, like full on rapist monsters who are like running entire, like, yeah, but to like, some extent, organization. Like, fuck George. Why the fuck he apologize? It's, uh, it's a very bad it. trend in the Minecraft community. Muda, I think you can probably attest to this as well. Uh, they apologize for fucking everything. Like, Dream used the word lynch in, like, an acceptable context. He was like, oh, if there's a cheater in this game, I'm going to lynch him. And then people said he was being racist, so he apologized for being racist. Yeah. Like, this is a consistent thing with all these guys. Like, every time the audience calls them out, which is, like, a bunch of non-binary children on Twitter, they always apologize. They cuck out immediately, so fuck them. I mean, it's like, this exactly. is on them. Like, they, 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 they create is, these, yeah. yeah. And then it which also is, like, sucks because the it... thing is, like, when you're arguing, it's basically just defending fucking principles. Um, well, it's like, I remember when it happened to, like, Jake Paul, he got hit with, like, an allegation, I want to say, years ago, and he was just like, bro, we're gonna, like, actually get our lawyers and, like, get everything involved. Like, I categorically deny all of this shit, you know? Dude, I was thinking um, about that the other day. Do you remember the story that happened with that? She was like, uh, he came over and we were just hanging out and all of a sudden it was in my mouth and he just came and left. Like, <laughs> I remember Keemstar tweeting out, he was like, but it, how did it get in? Why didn't you bite? What's going on? And the story just went nowhere. Wait, hold on real quick, I'm I mean, sorry. I mean, if, if, if you can, like, to disprove and prove these things, it's like, we all can agree, it's like kind of a double-edged sword. It's like, 
you never have like in order to prove or disprove the stuff you'd have to like set a cctv camera or something inside the fucking bedroom or place uh, and just record the whole thing obviously you're never going to get 100 percent proof or like disproof but like george literally he apologized for what is you know if you were take if you took his allegations in front of a courtroom like no wow dear thanks for the five good subs and enforce it you know it's like nobody's gonna fucking go after you for a tickle dog <laughs> like it's never gonna happen the worst the internet can do is call you the fucking tickle monster for like a week or two and then move on with their life but this dude just gets this dude apologizes and like you know it, by apologizing all he did was like magnify his situation even further and like cave into the stupid childish mob so Bro. dumb Wait, that guy was a genius. Wait, that guy was a... What the fuck's going on? <laughs> How are you guys not over this, dude? Because we agree he's a troll, dude. You're the only one still fucking... <laughs> but he's like a genius. He he's is, in dude. Mensa. He might be. What dude, do you think he's his like IQ a, he's is? Like, he's like tipster level IQ, dude. Tipster's I just got raped by Stephen but... Hawking. What the fuck is going on? Sorry, mind raped. <laughs> I can't get over it. How oh, does anyone man. do this? Has this happened before? I feel like this is probably the best troll that's ever been on stream before. Yeah, but also, he's also, the troll is also, the people that he's trolling or like acting like are so unbelievably fucking retarded that he could almost say anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but, but that's like what we just said like five minutes ago. It's like, bro, he comes in, he parrots the same stuff as a troll, but I've seen that parroted by actual like people talking about the situation. So, uh -huh. you know, even if he's a troll, it's like, what he what he said has a basis in reality like at least but that's how the know. best trolls work right yeah exactly but i mean like i guess it's best to talk about like the the kind of community that's been fostered and they're like pushing more of the or like you know they're equating a lot of these small time allegations to like serious serious cases of sexual assault it's just i don't know it's a it's a weird fucking world we're living in <laughs> Not to say that this would affect like anybody outside the Minecraft community. I think as long as you're not like caving into this insane, crazy mob that, by the way, only exists, from my understanding, on like Twitter or a lot of these like social media sites, it's fine. Like, bro, that sweet baby ink stuff. I made like the most fucking objective video on it, and like now it's fucking. I guess mood is part of like GamerGate or whatever. I'm like, dude, I literally like just saw a like you got these game companies harassing this one Brazilian account. It's like, bro. The first shot was fired by you guys. Just fucking own it, you know? Um, same with, like, Keffels. It's like questioning Keffels. It's like, oh, I guess are you a transphobe, Muda? I'm like, okay, what a way to extrapolate, you know, examining one yeah, you're, shitty you're a person. transphobe because you don't like that she's uh, funding a website that sends hormones to children against their parents' uh, knowledge. That's really... That's transphobic. You know, you know, like, my metric is just usually, like, sitting with, like, real, like, people in my life and just kind of, like, bringing the stuff piece by piece, because in real life, people will ask me, it's like, oh, I know, like, I don't bring up YouTuber, like, uh, as a thing to people in my real life, but most people, most of my friends know. So I discuss the Keffel stuff to, like, you know, just friends, and they're like, yeah, it's fucking weird, dude. You don't, like, send out <laughs> fucking hormone bottles with, like, keep out of sight of parents and shit. And everyone from that camp that I've talked to on, like, Discord, like, recorded conversations. Bro, I had one person tell me, I shit you not. It's like, you know, sometimes I've sat down with my doctor, and I know more about my body than my doctor. I'm like, okay, well, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's so insane with some of these people, dude. Well, you doctors are frauds and con artists anyway who, uh, do I things, guess. So. Yeah, trust me. I could be sympathetic towards some of it. I think depending on what you're talking about, I think depending on the doctor and depending on what you're talking about, they can be fucking retarded. I, I am somewhat sympathetic towards that. But I think the issue is that on the other end, you just have people that you probably shouldn't trust. Like, imagine if on one end, you've got doctors that might not know as much or don't have as whatever, a handle on some particular thing. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But then on the other hand, you've got people who are like, you need to be trans. It's good to be trans. We're going to crack the egg and blah, blah, blah. I think that, I think that the... On the other end, it's just too much. It's too ideologically loaded to feel like it's good counterbalance to potentially a doctor that doesn't know as much as you should about a thing, you know. I mean, it's it's just one of those things where like covering this to be as objective as possible. I really hate how like this insane hyper leftist community on you on like the internet has just kind of 
You know, the last thing I would ever want to do is equate, like, trans people to, like, child groomers, you know? Like, that's the kind of hell they already live with, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, if you look at just public social media perceptions. But then these motherfuckers are, like, out there linking themselves automatically. Like, bro, you can't criticize. Like, dog, what is wrong with you? can't get mad at Matt people? Walsh when you're literally sending hormones to kids. Yeah, bro, like, it's fucking... Like, you can't, you can't have a simple fucking... You can't be... You can't be, I, I want to say, you can't be rational with these people, bro. They're, like, unhinged. All of them. Like, really? this covering this whole thing is just, like, I just, I, I literally have grown to, like, just dislike the hyper-leftist community on the internet so much, so. Wow. Like, maybe it's, like, a weird radicalization on the other end, but it's just, like, I was friendly at her first, because I'm friends with, like, Destiny. I mean, I guess I, guess I used to be friends with, like, Bosch and stuff, too, and, and I guess lately even Hassan, so... But at this moment, with the super hyper leftist community, it's like, bro, I'm I'm just not there. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe my politics are too fucking center, or maybe right even. Like in some ways, it's kind of insane. Or maybe I guess I'm back. just a filthy liberal, you know? Because <laughs> you're gonna swing back, Christ. dude. We're gonna get the hyper right wing community. It's gonna be based in epic, like it should have been the whole time. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, Let's get insane. racist. All right. Thanks for having me on. I'm gonna go. Love <laughs> um, me, buddy. Bye. All right. Bye. -bye. <laughs> I don't, we, we don't condone racism, Tom. <laughs> shit. No, but uh, seriously, thanks for having me on, man. It's been good talking to you. What have you been up to, aside from debating people? Um, I'm just trying to stream this month, not traveling as much this month, because I was gone like half the month last month. Uh, yeah, I'm just chilling. Gee, you've been you've been traveling like so fucking much, bro. Like you've been, I, I mean, I don't know. I've, uh, every time like I catch up following you, it's like you're in front of the fucking White House or like you're fucking debating with like some. You had Candace Owens at your fucking house too, and then she leaves and you get into fucking beef with her. Yeah, you know, I just kind of uh, I do whatever, you know. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, mean, I, I move think around I a lot. Anybody, I think out of anybody on the internet that has ever had like a career, you're probably the only one that I've seen consistently just like stay in the limelight. It's kind of impressive. I feel like doing politics helps and being willing to talk to other people help. Cause I've thought about that and I'm like, do I have like some extra special gift to stay relevant? But I think if you just cover politics, like politics is always relevant. So I think it's kind of like luck out mm -hmm. there, you know? Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, you're the you're the only guy that I've ever seen that has like Nick Fuentes and all those guys on and giving them like I don't want to say like a fair fair shake. Well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair shake. It's in the sense that you try to at least communicate. Everybody else that I see online is like they usually already have their. I kind of hate how like this whole politics circle is super hyper clicky. It almost feels like it's a high school, you know, like lunch table, like cafeteria. Like everyone just has their own sides and they never really engage with whatever. Like yeah, I was it feels really fucking... cringe. Well, I was on with, like, Donut or whatever on those guys' podcast, Brandon Herrera and everyone, and, like, obviously, fucking complete other, I would say, end of this side of the political discussion, and I don't know, man, having, like, a fucking actual discussion was just great. Yeah, um, it does suck sometimes that it feels like when I hang out with, uh, like, yeah, actually, I was just in, um, San Antonio hanging out with those guys, actually, I think last month, um, because they have, like, a shooting range that they go down on. It sucks that when you hang out with conservatives, it does feel like sometimes they're more friendly and easier to talk to. <laughs> I mean, they were, they dude, they were just cool people. They were like, oh, Destiny came down over here. And I was like, oh, sweet, Destiny was here too. I mean, everyone in that camp is over there. I saw like fucking Wendigoon show out. Everyone was, it's, the thing is, it's just, I don't know, the closer you get to like the, that centerish side, you know, when people aren't like the super extreme, uh, it's just, those are like the nicest people, man. Like, I don't know, I guess, I guess that's, that's to be said. That's just to be understood. But. Yeah, maybe. It just sucks then, but then you have to make a trade-off that, like, these people are going to be the ones screaming about how vaccines are killing everybody and climate change is fake and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, well. Yeah. But. I mean, that, but that's the thing. It's like, you, like, uh, I, I think as long as, you, well, I mean, both me and you or anybody, like, as long as we stand our ground on fucking rational stuff, sure. you know, nobody should really have a reason to, to go out and criticize. I like to sit down and talk to, like, you know, anybody. But obviously, you know, people start talking about like crazy vaccines and shit like that. That's when I usually just like back out of something. I'm like, dude, no reason to get clipped and no reason to fucking yeah. engage in something I think is usually dumb. But you know. yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, there's always the clippers are always <laughs> lurking around the yeah. corner. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah, no, uh, thanks for having me on, brother. Take care. I'm going to head out. Yeah, let me be careful, babe. Yeah, you too, buddy. Mm -hmm.